So you're here for the uh, PMM interview? Yeah. I'm gonna ask you four questions. That sound good? Sounds good. First question is uh, size the US baby diaper market. Like how many people in the US wear baby diapers? Yeah. So I'm gonna assume that the US population is 320 million and that the average American lives to 80 years old. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just take 320 divided by 80. That gets me 4 million. So I can safely assume that there's about 4 million Americans for each age group. And uh, my assumption is that people between the age of 0 and 5 wear baby diapers. So that gets me 5. 5 times 4, that gets me 20 million. And uh, that's my answer. There are 20 million babies that wear diapers in the U.S. Good. Next question. Let's say we're launching a new product. And this product is a robot that does chores in your house. It can organize your room, wash your dishes, and feed your pets. Can you write a quick product announcement around it? And here's a piece of paper you can use to start writing. And you got five minutes. Okay, time's up. What you got? This is what I got. Today, we're excited to announce the launch of Alfred, your personal robot assistant. Tired of cleaning up after your kids? Alfred can reorganize your room for you. Want to spend more time with family at the dinner table? Alfred can do your dishes. Want to travel more but have pets? Alfred can feed your pets while you're away. Alfred is the personal butler you've always wanted. Nice, good job translating the product features into benefits. Next question, let's say we're launching this product, uh, Alfred, to the market. What steps would you think about before launching it? A simple framework I like to use is know the user, know the magic, and connect the two. Know the user. I need to know who the customers are. The more specific, the better. And in this case, one that comes to mind are young moms. The reason I say young moms is because one, they're more open to technology, and two, they tend to hold the purchasing power of the household. Knowing the magic is understanding what the key value proposition of your product is. In this case, with Alfred the Robot, the Alf Alfred does a bunch of chores that can free up your time to do other things. In this case, for moms, they can spend more time with their family, they can spend that time to rest, or they can spend that time to work on things that they care about, whether that be work-related things or a side project. And finally, connecting the two. Connecting the two is understanding what's the best channel to communicate your value proposition to your target customer. In other words, what are the best channels to reach moms? Is it through community building? Is it through Instagram? Is it through influencers? All of these are possible channels to reach moms. Thanks for sharing that framework. Last question is, uh, let's say you're working with a product manager, a sales manager, and an exec. And let's say there's a product launch, a sales pitch, and a leadership presentation that you have to help with, but you don't have bandwidth to do one. How would you uh, prioritize? How would you pick? Common sense would say go with the leadership presentation because it's coming from an exec. But in this case, I'll go with what's best for the company's bottom line. In other words, I want to ask the question, which of these activities will generate the most revenue impact for the business? For the product launch, I will want to know how many new leads will it generate and how would that translate into revenue opportunity? In other words, what's the revenue impact of this product launch and whether it impacts new customers or existing or both. For the sales pitch, I will want to know who we're pitching to and how big the deal is. If the deal is really small, then probably doesn't make much sense for me to invest a lot of time. But if the deal is big, then it may make sense for me to put in some time towards that. And for the leadership presentation, I will want to know what the PR objective is behind it. Is it to generate more brand awareness? Is it to generate more leads? Is it to help our sales team close out more deals? Once I have answers to all of these, then I will go with the one that has the most revenue impact. Great job tying your answers to metrics. Congrats, you got the job. Thanks. Hi, I'm Henry. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and comment below to let me know what other product marketing videos you want to see.